Skyblade battens. We've got super batten systems in our foil ray sail. The top three battens are a very special full carbon, 8.5 millimeter outside diameter, 5.3 millimeter inside diameter carb, full carbon tube. The top batten has no taper. The next two down have a coupling with a rod, 8.5 rod with a very soft tip. And that, if we turned it over, you can see it makes a very forward oriented profile in the top. Then we come to the top batten. Uh, these two battens are um, made with 30% carbon tubes and 8.5 millimeter rods. The 30% carbon tubes are interesting because only 30% carbon, but if you look at them carefully, you can see the carbon stripes. What I'm saying is that the carbon fibers that are in the tube are laid on the very outside of the tube. And that is where the carbon is most effective at making the batten stiff. Then we have a glass tube in the cross batten. The cross batten is supported by the clue, no need for carbon, and we have an 8.5 rod in the, in the bottom batten. So very, very advanced, expensive carbon batten systems are worked into the Skyblade 2024. I'd like to talk a bit about the batten pocket construction that goes into the Skyblade. Um, the batten pockets are um, above the boom are made with uh, a 4 mil X-ply, same material as the window. And uh, we do that because uh, the batten pockets are applied to the sail body. Um, they actually alternate from one side to the other. Um, that's because even though the pocket is made with the same material as the sail, the, um, every batten has a seam underneath it. So under the batten pockets, there's a double layer of material and that makes the sail body slightly more resistant to um, tensions and, and uh, pressures than is the pocket. So the result is that the sail body will always be a little bit uh, flatter and the pocket will have a bit more of a bubble. It makes the batten pocket just slightly asymmetric, which is why we alternate sides to minimize. If, if they were all on the same side, the sail would want to be on one side more than the other. But because we flip them from side to side, that effect is minimized. And we use X-ply because um, that matches the uh, stretch resistance of the sail body more accurately. Um, if we were using Dacron for the pockets, the Dacron is definitely more stretchy than the sail body and that would even make them more asymmetric. So it's a, a complication for the construction, but it's an improvement in the quality. One of the building features from loft sails is the way the mount of the roller is mounted onto the sail. You can see here that the mast pocket is extending down under the webbings that mount the tack roller. And that's a contrast to the way things were done before, not loft sails, we've always done it this way. But uh, many, many, many brands, almost all I would say, would used to mount these webbings onto the panel that's inside the mast pocket. And the mast pocket did not receive the tension from the downhaul. So loading all three layers, the two sides of the mass pocket and the mass panel inside equalizes tension over the entire luff. And the result is a super clean mass pocket. Another build feature is the Kevlar strips that are mounted around the mass pocket at the cams. So um, this is a feature because actually every time the, the sail is rotating, in the middle of the rotation, the cams are pushing against the pocket and the body. And every time that happens, there can be degradation of the sail, slight stretch. So there are Kevlar strips worked around at every cam. And these Kevlar strips prevent any elongation. Also, there's the MCI. The MCI is the me metallic cam interface, which is located between the cam and the sail inside the mast pocket at every cam. And the, this metallic cam interface also prevents any degradation to the sail as 
the sail grows older and the rotations mount up, the cam contact on the front of the mast panel can degrade. And this is what the MCI prevents. So the mast pocket over time remains clean. Also, our race sails are made without monofilm. We have X-ply in the foot, various weights. We have X-ply in the mast pocket, X-ply in the window. We have bi-ply in the upper leech. And bi-ply is not monofilm. Bi-ply is two layers of monofilm and the glue has the colorant in between. And this increases, doubles roughly, the UV resistance. So the entire sail is UV resistant. More details about the blade mast pocket. Notice that the two mil X-ply, quad axial X-ply, it extends to the forward seam here. This two ply, uh, sorry, this uh, two mil X-ply extends to this seam and it ex actually extends all the way down under the webbings that mount the roller. In this lower area on both sides, the mass pocket two mil is given a layer of the marking cloth, scrim dacron, that reinforces the tack area. The woven material is extending back to the rear edge here, which makes a double ply, two ply, running from tack all the way up to the head. And this two ply gives uh, resistance to the downhaul tension. That reinforces the integrity of the sail. In the two ply, we mount the zippers for the cams, one here and one here. So the zippers are mounted into double layers by the nature of the construction. And I don't think you'll find this on other cammed designs.